How's it going guys, my name is Dominic and for you guys today I'm bringing you our latest war, war win number 191 here and this one was against Median and you can see it was a really close one here and just one note as you can or maybe have known, school started for everyone and of course me as well and of course I can't upload every day, I need to focus on my studies so I'm going to try keep to an upload schedule of uploading once every other day so I'm going to try upload every Friday, Sundays, Tuesday and Thursdays and Fridays and that pattern so God, I'm talking about breathing here. Okay, so, yeah, getting back to the video. So that's just the reason why I never uploaded yesterday. I apologize for that, but there, just having it out there. I'm going to start from, what is it? I'm going to start from about uploading schedule. So, anyways, as you can see, this what it was a close one here. We did very, very, we did very well ourselves, but so did they. They did three-star, quite a lot of town lines, including me, three-star on my base for the first time ever. But as we can see, let's get to some attacks here. I'm wondering who to look at here. We can take a look at, maybe let's have just have a look at my attack here, my three-star on the number 19. I was the first one to three-star this war because I attacked quite early here. So as you can see, I didn't attack that early. I attacked like three hours into war. But anyways, I'm going on with a go hog attack strategy, my favorite one here. And as you can see, I did place with two golems this side of a base. I didn't lure out the clan castle this time. I don't know why, but I guess I just didn't want to this time. But as you can see, those I broke these two walls so the golems can take out these two cannons and then they lead to a path in the middle where I put on a jump spell there where they can both use and of course all that's in the clan well not of course but luckily in the clan castle all there is is a lava hound here and that can be dealt with but won't be dealt with with much can be dealt with without much cost to my troops so with knowing that it's just a little lava hound i can safely put down my hog riders so you can see there's one lava pup chasing my hogs but What's he going to do? Nothing here. And again, I put hogs nicely in different areas. There's not many There's not many places for a double giant bomb except that area right at the... No, there's not a single place for a double giant bomb here. Except maybe this gap here and this gap here. And that was the case in this attack. So once I came across the first giant bomb, I think, I quickly put down the last heal spell here so that the hogs will not die off quickly. And there was a giant bomb here, so luckily... The hogs didn't run across to the archer tower straight away because they were not fully healed off yet. I think there's a giant bomb there. If there isn't a... I swear there's a giant bomb there. Wait a second. Wow. As you can see, the hog riders, they absolutely clutchly dodged that giant bomb, going from every angle to dodge that giant bomb. But as you can see, every defense was down, and the three-star was inside here with my king still standing. So from that, I knew that was a brilliant raid, and yes... Okay, I'm getting told off for putting our war, war win streak on the um, displaying our war win streak because it's a little bit cocky here. So next attack here, we're going to bring Ibrahim, Town Hall Eight here, attacking their number twenty four, and I love this attack here. So as you can see, starting off, there's only really two places for double giant bomb, and what does he do? He puts down a good bunch of hogs here, and so that he can nicely take out a first defense and trigger off all three giant bombs and once that's done all you, you already know once we saw that i did tune in to this attack a bit later here but once i saw these little marks that showed there was giant bombs there i knew this was a free star so we'll just skip it off because it was such we'll put it times two speed because it was such a great start and that's what you that's what i just wanted to show you here and then now he starts off by trying to destroy the dragon here enough archers used plenty of wizards as well dragon and balloons go down and he can nicely quickly put the hog riders in front of a troop so that these troops can stay alive throughout the rest of a raid while they clean off the surrounding structures on the side of a base. And of course, as you can see, what is it? Not much damage now for the hogs. There's not a single giant bomb in play for them anymore. And you know that's a free star with, gosh, so many hog riders left over. So this base was annihilated so quickly here. Plenty of hogs nicely spread out all along the base so that they can clear off those surrounding structures without much trouble here. And as you can see, there you go. A few spring traps that do take out a few hogs. The king hasn't gone down yet, so he does take out quite a lot of hogs because the hogs have not paid attention to him. Again with these ones, but nicely, there's a big bunch of hogs. And this, two more licks of storages, and that was a beautiful three-star raid by Ibrahim. And now we're going to just go to the top end of a war here and look at a nice Town Hall 10 two-star. If I pick out one, maybe our leader had one. No, he didn't, so... Um, we're going to look at this mass golem attack strategy by Anton here. He did get two stars very quickly. The seven golem attack strategy it is a brilliant attack strategy, honestly. 
This raid took 1 minute 45, and as you can see, spams down all the golems over there. He still has one more in the clan castle, but just look at that mass of golems right there. An advantage of using this attack strategy is that all these golems, you, they take out, they, they don't take out, but they absorb every string of a multi target Inferno Tower. And as you can see, there's a multi target and then a single target Inferno Tower. So. That's just, that played out so brilliantly for him, and then the last golem will go down after the two heroes. A pop does get, go off, and I think that was very well played there as well. Jump spell does go down, and what much can you say? This raid is going brilliantly well. Look, there you go. First Inferno Tower has been frozen, and now it's being taken down by all the golems. That's going to go down fairly quickly here. Yes, it is, but still, see, as you can see, not a single Inferno string on the Queen. She's still full health. She's still not taking any hit points at all, and she's just holding off for the rest of this race. So 43 seconds left. Now it's just focusing on getting a 50% here with a Queen full health, and yeah, look how many Golems still standing, still absorbing damage from there. Wizards go down behind the Archer Tower to distract. There you go, 47%, and now still the Queen's ability. Simple to start at simple as two star so yep once he gets to 50 percent now it's just to let these troops die off a bit and just finish the raid here as you can see at the top trying to get as much percentage points to make this raid look as beast as possible so yeah guys that's just gonna wrap it up for this episode not too many not too many attacks in this episode because just trying to get this video nicely done a little war recap for you guys base visits will be coming tomorrow or sunday we'll see but anyways that's, that's going to be it for me from today if you liked it leave a like subscribe if you think i'm worth it and that's it from me guys and bye bye